Good morning, honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, and dear colleagues. My name is Carmen Stadelhofer, and I'm the coordinator of the Educational Network, the New Networkers. I send you a warm welcome to all of you coming from near of Ulm, and especially to those coming from far away, from 21 countries in Europe, and some of you also from other continents. We are very glad that you will join this conference, sharing beyond borders, new ways of care, communication and cooperation of older people along the Danube and in the whole of Europe in times of COVID-19. Normally we meet in Ulm as the Danube Festival uh, is, has taken place and all two years. This time is not possible because of COVID and so we try to be in contact with you by online conference. For us, physical distance doesn't mean social distance. Usually, our first mayor of Ulm, Mr. Bendel, is opening the conference in a big hall. Now, he's coming to us by online. So, I ask him, I welcome him, and I ask him to make his greeting words. Thank you, Mr. Bendel. Yes, thank you very much, Mrs. Stadelhofer. Hello to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome from me to all of you. My name is Martin Bendel. Mrs. Stadelhofer said it. I'm the first mayor of the city of Ulm and also the, one of the officers of the Danube office, Ulm and New Ulm. At the moment, I am sitting here in my office in the town hall in the heart of our city next to the Ulmer Münster with the tallest church steeple of the world. Actually, that means without Corona, we would now be celebrating the International Danube Festival here in Ulm and Neu-Ulm. And we would have appreciated to welcome all of you here because the main intention of the Danube Festival is the thought of personally meeting each other. Unfortunately, we had to cancel the festival because of Corona, but after all, it's great that we have the opportunity to talk to each other via Zoom. I'm bringing to you all good wishes from the city of Ulm, from our Lord Mayor Gunther Zisch and from all the members of our city council. I'd like to thank you for the kind invitation. Thanks also to Mrs. Stadelhofer and her whole team from Eloy, from Danet, and from all other partners for organizing and preparing this conference. I am very pleased about the participation of Mrs. Maria Gabriel, the European Commissioner for Innovation, Research, Culture, Education and Youth. Also Mrs. Teresa Schopper, the State Minister of Baden-Württemberg and Secretary of State for Policy Coordination. And last but not least, Mr. Karl-Heinz Lambers, the former president of the European Committee of Regions. Hello and thank you for joining this conference. One of the main themes of our city is the Danube as a symbol of the connection of different countries and different cultures. We are proud that we've got a large network with our partners in the Danube countries. Beside our Danube office, Ulm and Neu-Ulm, as an institution to connect and to cooperate with these partners, we are very happy that there are other institutions like Eloy, who share this network in our Danube activities and develops own programs. Today's event aims to important topics. How can we improve cooperation along the Danube and in Europe both in times of Corona and afterwards? How can we protect older people from social isolation and use their experience and the competence for personal and social engagement? Moreover, can we do all this with the help of new interactive media for communication and cooperation online? The topics of the program are very diverse, but all contribute to one goal to create and to strengthen cooperation alongside the Danube and to connect all of us, no matter how many physical borders there might be. Because especially in times of COVID-19, we have rec recognized 
the significance of the cooperation between civil society actors along the Danube. So thank you very much to everyone who makes this conference and the partner meeting possible. And thank you to the State Ministry of Baden-Württemberg and many other partners who support the conference financially. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best for the conference and we hope you get many new impressions concerning this important topic. And of course, we would like to invite you to Ulm and to Neu-Ulm at latest to the next International Danube Festival in 2022 and hope to meet all of you personally here in Ulm. Stay healthy and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wendel. Thank you so much for this kind and encouraging words. I have to say that the town of Ulm is really very supporting our activities and we are very grateful about. Another big supporter is the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung. And I asked frankly Mr. Weber, the director of the Department of Education of Baden-Württemberg Stiftung, to bring us some greeting words now to the plenum. Thank you. Dear Mrs. Stadelhofer, dear Minister Schopper, dear Mayor Bendel, dear participants, a warm welcome from me as well. My name is Andreas Weber. I'm head of the department of the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung. The Corona crisis shows clearly how connected we are worldwide. On the one hand, referring to the spread of the virus. On the other hand, referring to the economic ties, the labor market and new dependencies. International exchange, international mobility and face-to-face -face encounters will not be possible for a long time. In those circumstances, international relations are put to the test, whereas civil society organizations shine with a proximity to the local needs once again. The lockdown has shown so far that the most vulnerable people, such as children, sick or elderly, elderly people living on their own are the most affected ones. They depend on external care caregivers or on neighborhood assistance. The crisis highlights the importance of acting together on different levels and clarifies as well gaps and structural challenges in health systems within the European Union. Consequently, this leads to meaningful questions for European governments and administrations worldwide. Questions on which civil society organizations and NGOs have often found answers so far. The commitment of civil society organizations and NGOs in the fields of care and communication plays a crucial part. That is the reason why we are very glad that Eloy enables this conference and virtual partner meeting of the Danube networkers because physical distancing shouldn't mean social distancing. Eloy has very early started in the lockdown to use digital means and instruments to bring people across borders together. The Baden-Württemberg Stiftung understood the challenges of an uprising European integration and the urgency to foster this process along the Danube. Therefore, to enable sustainable cooperation in the Danube region and in order to strengthen international understanding and the creation of a robust civil society, the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung launched its program Perspektive Donau, Danube, Education, Culture and Civil Society. Since many years, a variety of different projects have been developed in the fields of culture, environmental education, civil society exchange or empowerment of women and minorities. Cooperation between actors in Baden-Württemberg and the Danube region plays the key role in our projects. 
personal encounters and meetings have been made part of these projects. New friendships are formed and more and more structures have been built from which the educational network Danube Networkers represents one of it. On behalf of the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung, I would like to congratulate the organizers of this conference for realizing it and hereby I wish all participants and presenters within the next two days fruitful and interesting workshops and discussions. Thank you very much for your attention and stay healthy. Dear Mr. Weber, thank you very much also for this kind words and for good cooperating since so long time. We know all that the Baden-Württemberg Stiftung is very important for a lot of us to realize the projects we have in mind because uh, you give us some help for structuring 